Hello and welcome to round 9 of the Bozra MSA GT3 Championship. Round 9 comes from Brands Hatch, the Grand Prix circuit, a particular favourite of mine. I'm here with Simon Underhill. Hello Simon. Evening Jason, are you okay? Good, thanks. Really looking forward to this one. Without further ado, if you wouldn't mind going through the quality for us. Not a problem, Jason. So we start with Ben Hackerson on pole with 123-101 in his, his Mercedes for Seagate. Followed by Tony Bard, brake on printing in his Audi at 123-133. Craig Parks in the Privateer BMW in third spot, 123-2. Followed by Barry Bard, also in the uh, Acorn printing Audi at 123-26. Jason, you follow up in fifth in your Acorn printing BMW. Then we have Paul Walmsley in the Mercedes. Dion Phillips in his Audi. Alan McCain in the BMW with motorsport auctions at 123.9. Neil Bamber in the BMW for Seagate and then myself. Just looking at the back of the grid, we have uh, Jan Malesva in the uh, 16th for Seagate at 125.0. Brian Walker for 56 and Chris Butterfield for 56 at 125.4 and 5 respectively. Simon Jackson follow, uh, following up in his Mercedes, no sorry, he's in the BMW now, uh, for Synology at 125.64. Paul Martin, Ricky Green, Marion Brandon, Jonathan Beresford in 23rd for Motorsport Auctions at 126.2. And then the last person to set a time is Daniel Bailey, privateer in the BMW 127.2. Unfortunately, Ian Thorne, and, oh, sorry, Ian Thorne <laughs> and Marion Bradshaw not setting a time this week, um, unfortunately. Over to you, Jason. That's fine. Um, I'll make my point in a mo. Please uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Uh, subscribe to us here, obviously. But without further ado, here we go to the start line of... Um, what I reckon is going to be a really exciting race. You looking forward to this, Simon? Oh, most definitely. This is a circuit we've visited a number of times, and it's going to be ace. Off they go. Engines revving. Few decent starts. I happen to know that this gets pretty tight on the right-hand side there as I'm trying to make a move on Craig. And we follow everyone nice and cleanly through Cat Paddock Hill Bend. Uh, and I will luckily be able to talk more about the corners this time because I know the track for once. Uh, three wide there for uh, Taylor Lane on the outside there, wasn't it? So, pretty yeah, good starts the, all round. Yeah, it looks like the Obama himself and um, is Alan McCain in the blue wheel, the MW there, just fighting for position. Um, Neil Bamber looking like he's going to get the inside line on Alan McCain here around the corner up to the uh, the straight onto the international or the Grand Prix circuit, as you say. Well, yeah, he's not quite got it. it. Uh, early on, everyone uh, keeping it nice and clean. Long old drag down this straight. And back to the start we go. Is this On body self, mate. Yeah, so we're going to see what I was trying to quickly mention there. This was um, pretty hairy. <laughs> Probably wouldn't do it again if I had the choice. But you can see Craig gets a bit of a dodgy start and I squeeze through that barrier, uh, knowing full well that he'd be coming back at me. But that's two places made in that first corner. Um, Seeing Tony the way Cooper around you now, you've got your teammates around you as well, so you have to be really careful here between Tony and Barry. That's, yeah, always a worry. We've, we've mentioned it many times in these, um, but yeah, hitting your teammate is not an option. Anyway, back to the action. Tony Bard following uh, Ben Hackerson, who has got quite clear relatively early on. You can see the Craig's back up into third. And Tony is uh, the... Yeah. Just dropped, yeah, just dropped it on the curb there and uh, lost the back end. Fortunately, yeah. hit the barrier. Looks like he might have to take a pit stop to do some repairs there, Jason. Straight into the pits for one of those two fast repairs. You're absolutely right. Shame for him on this first lap, but we go following uh, Ricky Green. What's happening here? This is towards the back of the grid. They returning Ian Thorne, which was great to see. Good to yeah, see good him back on the grid. Yeah, it is. It is good to see some of the old guys back. Um, as you can see, Ricky Green in the Synology, my teammate, uh, just making a move on Ian Thorne there. Yeah, good move as well. And we've got, uh, where are we? Hill Bamba being overtaken by yourself into Paddock, but you've gone a bit wide, unfortunately. Yeah, just a bit wide, yeah. Just look at the, um, the line in there, unfortunately, left the gap open for Neil to retake the uh, and do the undercut on me. Absolutely well held, though, and it shows the moves there for later on in the race, perhaps. Uh, here's Jan Blaziva being overtaken in the same place by Martin Brandon and they touch. That's a real shame. It looked like Martin had the move done cleanly, but uh, unfortunately he must have lost a bit of traction, slid out wide straight into Jan there. That's unfortunate. More, uh, 
more action from Neil Bamber and Simon Underhill being followed here closely by Taylor Lane. Too wide through Graham Hill bend and a little touch is that? Yeah, I think that's a little touch unfortunately sent Neil uh, off onto the grass which allowed them Taylor Lane to come through in his Audi and follow me around this next corner. <laughs> Taylor must have been uh, clenching slightly there, I reckon, getting, threading it through the middle there. Good job. Here we've got uh, Martin being involved in another knock, and oh, Jonathan Beresford uh, just punting him out of the way there. Just, okay, fair enough. Less said the better. Yeah, on board with yourself now, looking back at Paul Wombley and his Mercedes. Uh, again, Paul being right up your gearbox to try and make the move at the back of this. Um, the straight and looks like he's going to do it. No, he isn't, unfortunately. Earlier, sorry, you were later on the brakes. And looks like Paul's going to try and get an undercut on yourself here now into the next bend around the top end of the circuit. Yeah, he's done a really great move there. Knew he couldn't get around the outside in the first of those corners, um, but knew I was defending hard on the inside and he got a much better run. Just great know it's Paul Walmsley as well to change his livery, so he did have a private here. Um, strawberry jam livery, I think. Now he's changed his, his livery for something else. He's on the bush fink. Delivery now. Shh. Ooh, <laughs> cut you off for that one. <laughs> but uh, that's Dion Phillips sticking it right in the wall, right in front of Alan. And uh, how that didn't end up being a massive collection there, I don't know. But this is a great little gaggle of five cars. Here we are on board with Mr. Woodhouse overtaking Ryan Walker down this big long straight. That McLaren unbeatable in a straight line, really. So. Not a lot Ryan could do, I'm sure, except he's going straight back on the offensive. Yeah, Ryan close to the back end of that was say that McLaren looked like he'd get the front end of his car burnt off there, Keith. Yeah, here's uh, Taylor Lane, lap six, privateer car in uh, eighth position by the looks of it, and he's going to lose at least one. If not two, two positions. Yeah, yeah two Phil positions. Gregory just making the, uh, the move there. Matty Van Delden in that uh, motorsport auctions BMW getting through. On board now with Paul Martin, a recovering, how many times have we said this, a recovering Tony Bard, trying to get around the outside. Not not a good place to make a move, so he's, ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I was about to say it was super intelligent to not make that move, and then Paul's, I suppose he did, wouldn't expect him to be there, so not much you could do about that. Yeah, he's spinning off, just finishing the barrier, so hopefully it looks like he can carry on with his race. Yeah, on board with Barry Bard here now, and we've got a typical Bard spin. Not the first time, not the second time. <laughs> uh, it's it's round nine, um, Brands Hatch, and we've had, had it happen to both. It's really unfortunate, but uh, that one not so bad for Barry. Yeah, but uh, Barry just, just getting the car, collecting it all together, getting the car back on the track, and... Uh, just splitting, I think it was between myself and Neil Bambo there. Yeah, back on board with Ryan Walker here, he's following Mark, who's having a spin in exactly the same place around Graham Hill Bend. And are we going to get a replay from Simon Jackson's perspective? We are, and Ooh, just misses cool. it. Brilliant yeah. bit of skilled uh, avoidance from Simon there, that's a, that's a great Yeah, also driving. managed to get on, get on to the artificial grass there and not spin off, which is what a lot of people do, so yeah, really good driving that was, uh, from Mr Jackson. So Paul Martin, what is this? Or, oh, come yeah, on, from a Taylor long way back. Oh. And massively put Taylor off, uh, I think. <laughs> uh, didn't hit him. Um, and it's, you know, it's a very good way of getting past people who's putting them off and forcing them into a mistake. And I'm sure that's what happened to Taylor there. Anyway, we're back with the leading did. group. Yeah. Craig flashing the headlights there, trying to, as we've just said, put Ben off and force him into a mistake. They're super close at this point in the race. I thought Ben was going to run away with it. And in, here comes the move into Paddock Hill. Ben breaks later with that BMW brakes and makes the move clean. Makes Great move. Put, puts Ben off his racing line, which then allows him to pull a little bit of a gap into the next corner. And uh, just hope it looks like he's going to drive away with this one. Unfortunate for Ben, he's, he's really clean driving on at Brown's Hatch. And uh, yeah, he just needs to uh, give the, the place up to Craig. Yeah. Oh, Barry Whoa. having another moment. <laughs> from fifth and this time he's hit the barrier uh, I know he won't be very happy with that at all one spins bad enough but to uh, spin again when you're recovering I know he won't be very happy at all <laughs> anyway, moving on Phil Gregory. Phil Gregory yeah I think he was having some brake issues again on this track um, he's what position is he in there now he's in sixth position so he's doing well considering uh, just got Neil Bamber following behind going in for his pit stop pit stop yeah some fuel saves that uh, battle from happening which is 
very clever thing to do if you know you're going to lose time battling and you know you've got to have this mandatory pit stop. It's not a bad idea. On board with Ben, who's trying his best to keep up with Craig, but Craig seems to be on a different level of pace at this moment in time. It's lap 23, and uh, he's fallen a little way back. But yeah, Craig has the gone course. into the pits. Yeah, so I was, say, I was just trying to read what the gap was there, but yeah, so Ben back into first position, just as that will be Ryan Walker, I think. Yeah, was must it? must be, I think, yeah. And um, having to do some avoidance there. Paul Wormsley here coming into Paddock Hill Bend comes out ahead of Craig. So Craig's only dropped to seventh. From yeah, first. Obviously, obviously these these guys run in the same livery but not an official team uh, within the Bosa race and they are both privateers. Yep, absolutely, yeah. So on board with Simon, he's got a great run out of Leeway's the last corner. And Looking gonna back try under the braking. Yep. Yeah. Very respectful from me. Yeah, I knew that the uh, that pass was inevitable. Although he is fighting back. Ooh. Oh, oh. Well, that's this is Barry. This is, yeah, Barry with Simon Jackson behind, and uh, obviously this is just on the back of Ryan Walker's car. <laughs> yeah, he can't really see anything else but the back of Ryan Walker's car. That's. Uh, Pretty decent of them not to touch at that point. I don't think they touched anywhere. And Barry should have the exit out of this corner and using the extra speed of that Audi down the straight. But Ryan's not making it easy. He's parked it on the inside, making Barry go the long way around. But he has managed it. Great move. Yeah, just squeeze him from. That's an excellent move. Yeah. Big commitment at that stage of the race, lap 26. I don't, don't think Barry's been in at that point he might have done uh, anyway back on board with Matty Van Delden chasing down Dion who we saw have that big impact into the barrier earlier so he's obviously gone and used his fast repair because that car looks pretty good in front yep that's uh, Paul Martin in the Mercedes oh, oh dear Paul that's I think Paul this race was it his first time using Oculus is that an excuse or I don't know I don't know whether uh, the Oculus bit is, is factual, I don't know, um, and even if it is, I'm not sure it's much of an excuse, personally. But there we go. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, following Jan round, I do love the colour of those wheels, they don't go with the paint job at all, but they're a good <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's losing... Uh, Sorry, I was laughing at your comment, <laughs> not, not at his bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, there we go, he's parked it and uh, very cleverly just waited for everyone to come through before turning it back round and continuing with his race. Ball with Marion Bradshaw. Yep. Just taking it a little bit wide. Oh. Like, yeah, he has. He's hit the barrier. This will cost him some repairs, I would have thought. Yeah, very unfortunate at that point. The spin is almost impossible to uh, get back from once you've stuck it on the grass like that. Is Lap 32 now, Jason. So we're nearing the end of the race. Unfortunately, it was this. Alan McCain oh. just touches the grass. Oh, misses the tyres, but unfortunately, it's the barrier. Again, in the pit entrance, this is the time you go in and do repair. It most certainly is. And then uh, there's myself trying and failing to defend from Craig, who Craig had had a uh, pit stop penalty, if I remember rightly. Uh, 15 seconds so he was making that up for the whole race that's how I'd ended up in front of him it wasn't on pace and at this point I think there was quite a lot of fuel saving going on and that's the end of my excuses for now um, <laughs> on board with Jonathan who's stuck it into the barrier right at, towards the end as well I'd say that can be a pain in the bottom that can when your bonnet's up like that trying to hit an apex in the corner depending on which corner you're going round it can really really impede the driver's view yeah Doing a bit of off-roading here. There is a rally course track at Brands Hatch, so... Um... <laughs> You're full of it tonight, Jason. <laughs> off and board with Tony, just following Phil around the top of um, whatever corner that is. It's Druids. Uh, Druids, okay. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, looking like Phil, so he has not problems with his brakes. Like I said, he's just gone slightly wide down to the ground. Managed to flex it up and continue to give to the position away to Tony. Yeah. Brake issues uh, are very difficult to deal with. You know, following uh, Ian here, who is trying to chase down the on Phillips. How far ahead is he? Quite a way, isn't it, by the looks of it? And oh, he's he's, he's done a replicate, oh, replication of what Alan McCain did, unfortunately. Less lucky with uh, what he's hit. 
Well, that's it's kind of debatable, I suppose. It depends how much damage it's done. Neil Bamba and Tony. Yeah. yeah. Big old wiggle from Neil. That's going to massively affect his exit and the fact that Tony's driving the car with the faster straight line speed. So. Is it going to replicate what his twin brother did around the outside? Well, he, he does, but <laughs> Neil just backs off slightly. Got it done, yeah. yeah. Sensible for driving from Neil there. Yeah, absolutely. Sixth and seventh there. Um, so a decent recovery. And we've got Matty Van Delden being chased down by another Acorn printing car, another Bard, another Audi. And he's going to go around the outside of Graham Hill, yeah. Second Good move. Time in this race, yeah, around the outside. I think that that's uh, Matty kind of giving that place up, knowing that uh, Barry had more pace. Just trying to get to the end of the race, so that's not a bad... Or, or hoping he's been out again. Anyway, more <laughs> enough said of that. <laughs> I'm bored with now with uh, Mr. Millie is leaving. Looking back at the off-lips. Obviously got a really good drive out of that first bend in the, uh, the chicane. And put Jan off by the looks of it. He's outbraked himself. And Dion makes the move, but now he's got the outside, which is going to be tough. Giving each other loads of room. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant bit of racing. Don't see many people going around the outside of that corner, and it's having a lot in this race, so good on them. Yeah, no sure, not sure who we've got here, but there's a, there's a gangle of cars. Is that yourself? Uh, it's, uh, it's me, is it? We've got Dion Phillips over. Oh, he's going around a back marker and collects. Is that Ryan? I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure either, but there you can see Ben Hackerson. No, oh, sorry, that's Paul Walmsley going in the um, Mercedes. And here's Ben, he's taking the checkered flag, I think. This yeah, this must be the last, last lap. lap. Or oh, oh, is it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so 42, last lap. He's led from start to finish pretty much, except for uh, struggling with Craig earlier on and Craig with that time penalty. But Ben takes the win. win. Fantastic race, fantastic. Well done. I'm not ben. sure what happened with the timing screens at the end there, but he's not 10th, he is first. Fantastic win. Um, Craig obviously will have preferred not to have had that speeding in the pits um, issue, but there we go. Race result then confirmed for you. Ben Hackerson taking the win for Seagate, followed by Craig Parks and myself. Then Paul Wormsley, uh, Privateer, yourself, Simon, for Synology in fifth. And you can see the rest of the classified finishes there as well. Um, notable finish for John Beresford who recovers up to 60 so that's a few points for him how's the driver yeah. standings driver standings so Ben Hackerson top spot with 184 that's a 23 gap to Paul Wombley also in a Mercedes yourself Jason in third for Acorn and then we have Matty Van Delden Neil Bamber and Craig in sixth just the back of the championship now we see uh, Dion Phillips at 16th Simon Jackson for Snology in 17th and then round down the bottom, we have Dan Bailey, Paul Martin, and is it Phil Bedford or Paul Bedford? I can never remember. In 30th. And so that's affected the team standings. Uh, Acorn Printing still leading, but taking a bit of a hit in that particular race to Seagate. And then you can see Motorsport Auctions, Bowden Solutions, 56, and then Synology taking sixth place at the moment. So. I think that race was just as exciting as we expected it to be, don't you, Simon? Yeah, yeah, it was a really good race. Um, myself and yourself, good results, and uh, a re you know, another winner for, for Bosra in Ben Hackerson. Absolutely. So, next week brings us round 10 from Watkins Glen Classic Boot. You know that uh, if you've liked this video, you press the like button, and if you'd like to see that roundup when it happens, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.